When Darwin made it to the Galapagos Islands in 1835, he wrote, In the woods of Floriana Island, there are many wild pigs and goats, but the staple article of animal food is supplied by the tortoises. Their numbers have, of course, greatly been reduced in this island. By that time, for about 300 years, pirates and whalers had been capturing live tortoises on the Galapagos and stacking them on their backs in the hold of the ship as live food storage. It is said that formerly single vessels have taken away as many as 700. Three years later, a visiting ship couldn't find any tortoises on Floriana Island and Floriana Island tortoises were declared extinct in 1846. By the early 1900s, the Pinta Island tortoise was thought to be extinct as well. But in 1971, a Hungarian snail researcher saw a tortoise on Pinta Island and told his scientist buddies about it. So they went out and found the last surviving Pinta Island tortoise and ended up calling him Lonesome George. So they took him to the Charles Darwin Research Station on Santa Cruz Island for his safety and in hopes that he would make some babies. But they never found any other Pinta Island tortoises in the wild or in zoos around the world. So they tried to get him to get it on with other similar subspecies. And in 2008 and 2009, his companions ended up laying some clutches of eggs, but they all turned out to be inviolable. As the world's most famous endling, he was known as the rarest creature in the world and died in 2012. Nowadays, his taxidermied specimen is on display at the Charles Darwin Research Center, and I saw him there in 21.